gentlemen, in this case, I have 20x plus 5, um, 24x minus 1. So what we need to do is first determine or make sure that we have parallel lines, which I forgot to write in. So do we have parallel lines? Yes. All right, good. So therefore, we know our angle relationships are going to have special relationships to each other. They're going to be equal to each other at up to 180. Now I need to determine, are these interior or are these exterior? And they obviously, you can see that they're between our parallel lines, so we call them interior. Are they on alternating sides or the same side? Same side. So therefore, does anybody remember the name? Consecutive interior angles. Now, if you guys remember, I told you um, on the beginning of this piece of paper, I told you to write how our consecutive interior angles relate each other to each other when you have parallel lines. And what is it, Raphael? Well, their sum of them is equal to 180, right? So therefore, you can say 20x plus 5 plus 24x minus 1 is equal to 180. The sum of the two angles is equal to 180. Brianna, could you take that up, flip it upside down, and put it on your desk, please? Thank you very much. So therefore, now you add these. You have, you have your combined like terms here and combined like terms here. So therefore, that is 44x plus 4 equals 180. Subtract 4. Subtract 4. 44x equals 176. Divide by 44. You guys remember all those solving equation worksheets I gave? Remember all those extra practice we did? Right? And that's just all the practice, um, all this stuff. So therefore, we look at this, and x is going to equal? There you go. OK. All right, so what I need everybody to do, where'd your phone go? Oh, that's a good place for it to be. All right, what I'd like everybody to do is go ahead and take out your worksheets unless you're taking a test.